Hello, Internet. This is Jenny Fedora again. Uh, regards to product, we're going to kind of do an unboxing, but this is more tech tips advice on this one. Uh, in this case, we're actually going to be talking about external DVD, CD-ROM drives via USB. Why we're talking about this is because nowadays lots of people could end up having a computer without a CD or DVD drive, and it's something that's beneficial if you're trying to build a headless home theater units or a small compact form factor and you need to get the operating system loaded and you're having problems because the internet's down or your USB thumbstick's not working properly and this is sometimes the simple solution. Typically you can pick up external CD, DVD drives for anywhere between about 25 to 40 bucks depending on what you're looking at this particular case we're looking at a slightly older rosewell model it's a 2.0 usb external drive it reads uh, cds and dvds and it can write cds and dvds why you want to write across usb god only knows i've had to do it before when i've been stuck in a data center and i need to write to a dvd to get something over to another machine so it is not out of the ordinary and if you're doing any sort of teching this is something that should be in your arsenal okay so the USB drive we're looking at an older model today we're looking at the Rosewell again um, they don't make this one anymore but I like it you can still find it on Amazon. Uh, Newegg has appeared to discontinue it. I guess Rosewell got out of the business. But this thing has been very bulletproof for me from a tech standpoint. Best part is no manual. None. It's, there's nothing there. There's some foam. Don't need that. Look. No manual. Rosewell. You're a great company. You know what we need. We need a drive, not a manual. If you need a manual for your CD-ROM drive, you probably shouldn't be a tech anyways. So going forward, uh, it's a sl nice slimline drive, very small, very light, have a USB port on the back, and it does have an option for DC power. How Rosewell does it though, is it's just a small USB, to regular USB and you have a second one in the cords if you end up needing more power for the device works very well don't have to worry about any clumsy AC adapters or anything you just plug this in and go very bulletproof as far as I am concerned with every instance I've had to use it as far as using it I've only had to use it typically with the newer systems but hey let's say you're having to sit there and you have to make a virtual machine or something and oh no you don't have your OS or you have to load it from a drive guess what we can take our wonderful Windows 95 that we want to put up in a virtual machine because hey we're gonna go do some old-school gaming BAM click it in just go load up Windows 95 in that virtual machine all day long it has USB support then, got your old games. Look, go do some full throttle on your virtual machine because it's a DOS-based game. Can't do that nowadays, now can you? Go build your headless machine and now I'm, oh gee, you might need a CD-ROM drive or you can use it to make an ISO so you can preserve your old games. So, overall, the Rosewell drive, very, very nice drive. And as far as I'm concerned, very bulletproof. And if you're going to be a technician and somebody's drive's not working in their PC and you have to reload an operating system or you just have to use it on a headless unit or a workstation or potentially a server, good piece of tech to keep around. 25 bucks. It's going to probably save your bacon one of these days. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any comments, you want to disagree with me, go for it. I've been doing this a lot longer than most of you out there on the internet, so have at it. This is Jenny Fedora, and we're reviewing tech that 
people need for working on PCs. Hello Internet! Here's another review for Ginny Fedora. Today we're going to talk about cheap gaming accessories. And for PC gaming, look what we have. <laughs> 